Listen, welcome to Little Black Book, another one. Little Black Book, you know what time it is. We're talking to you about, uh, guys, listen, mandem, pay attention to this, right? Do not enter a relationship with any woman, any woman, when they don't respect you. Because you're going to about to hear what Jeannie May is about to say to you, or Jeannie Maya was going to say to you, right? She's about to let you know what happens when she does not respect her man. I want to let you know it's the beginning and the end. The beginning and the end. There's no okay, so there's beginning and what happens when women do not respect you from the jump and how they're gonna treat you. Now she speaks a little bit here about her ex ex uh, ex husband. We're gonna break it all the way down for you guys, and you're gonna hear what she says. Let's play a little bit of clip. And let's mother, I'm sorry, I saw it in my grandfather to my grandmother to my mom to my aunts to me, mm -hmm. right? But I didn't notice it in myself until I was with Jeezy. Interesting, you didn't notice in your previous marriage? No, no, because I because. It has to do with the type of relationship you have and the type of respect you have for that person to mirror things back to you where you actually would stop you in your tracks and evaluate yourself, you know? So you had it. So I had it. Now, if you don't know what we're talking about here, she was actually talking about her anger. She said her anger, she's a hot temper, right? And she said, basically, I, 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 I didn't, I didn't self-reflect on my behavior because I had no respect for him as a husband. Listen. She would not hold back. She would not self-reflect. She would not change her behavior. She would not. She would not look at it and say, "Maybe this is I shouldn't do it," because she had no respect for her husband. Now, why didn't she have no respect for her husband? Let's be freaking honest. He had no. He wasn't. He wasn't equal to her. Why? Because Jeezy is somebody who is ambitious. He's goal oriented. He wants to win. He wants to, you know, financially, you know, climb ladders. Da, da, da. And she mentioned this actually in a whole interview about how Jeezy is. Now, when you take that into consideration, it probably means that that's what your man was not previously, right? And so his level of elevation, the previous ex-husband, was not as to what you required. He didn't inspire you, right? Now, the part of that, obviously, as well, again, the financial aspect, but also the, she said, a key C word was safety. She didn't feel safe necessarily in that relationship, but she does with Jeezy. But as you just heard there, quite clearly, when she doesn't respect you, she ain't about to start changing her behavior that are negative. In fact, she's going to further double down. Now, we're going to talk a little bit more about this and how this impacts you as a man. Like, share, subscribe if you're new to this channel. Subscribe to the channel because we are trying to get to 100K subscribers. And you guys are doing a great job so far. Y'all have been killing it. I've been raising, rising for the ranks the last few days. It's been killing it, and I can't lie to you. Thank you so much. Um, Let's continue to get, get, uh, grow as a family as well. Don't forget, you can join our membership. It's a pound, a dollar. Um, we do our membership lives. We've got one this Tuesday as well, um, uh, as, uh, as well later on tomorrow night. So you go and join us and enjoy. But um, let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it real. Listen, if you're a, a returning to this channel, then you already know what it is, baby. You got the minerals. You got the minerals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, listen, let's get into the video. No long thing. Let's just scroll back slightly here. I'm going to re-go back so you can hear the whole thing again. Listen intently because it's going to help somebody. Uh, or th draw a boundary between you and that person. For example, I have a really hot temper. Not a lot of people know this, but it's just something in my family. I've seen it in my grandmother. I'm sorry. I saw it in my grandfather to my grandmother to my mom to my aunts to me, mm -hmm. right? But I didn't notice it in myself until I was with Jeezy. Interesting. You didn't notice in your previous marriage? No, no. Because I because it has to do with the type of relationship you have and the type of respect you have for that person to mirror things back to so the type of respect that she has for her hus ex-husband is if she has a, enough respect, she's going to what? She's going to reflect on it and what hopefully it'll, you know, she'll look in the mirror about it. But she never had that. Interesting. To where you actually would stop you in your tracks and evaluate yourself, you know? So you had it. So I had it, but nobody ever, nobody ever called me out on it. Also in my line of work, sometimes being a boss isn't so, isn't so great for you because you have so she says here, obviously, you know, like, no, she didn't self-reflect. No, she didn't change her behavior because he never carried the kind of respect that she required and she needed. And look, when you're a man going into a relationship, you never want to be in a position where the woman doesn't respect you. It's why I keep saying to you, the first thing, first and foremost thing you need to think about is love for you is respect. As a man, the Bible tells us a, a, a woman should uh, submit to her husband. And a man should love his wife. And the reason being is the submission really is more about the respect. A woman should respect her husband, right? And that respect is garnished because you have qualities, you have skills, and you have achievements that speak largely to who you are and what you're about. 
right? You have skills, you have achievements, okay? And you have qualities of character oftentimes that mean that you are what? Respected. Now, if you have those things, if you have negatives in those areas, you're going to struggle with respect. But let's say you even have all three of those things and a woman doesn't see the, the value in you, then you need to bounce. Don't try to win her, convince her, try to change her over because eventually her true feelings will surface maybe a little bit later on. Maybe her true thoughts will resurface a little bit later on. And the truth of the matter is when you stay there, you open yourself up to be even more uh, uh, disrespected. You open up yourself more to be even more hurt because all you're doing is you're trying to win over somebody who doesn't respect you. They don't respect you. They don't like you like that enough. Listen to what she says. She doesn't respect the man enough to even want to change her hot temper. In fact, she didn't even know she had one. That's how uh, that's how much disrespect she had for him. She didn't even know she had a hot temper, even though it was her grandma, her dad. Da, 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 she listed it. Even with that, she didn't even know. So that's me. That lets us know straight away. Listen, if she has no respect for you, she will not move any mountain for you. You understand what I'm saying to you? And I mean, she probably shouldn't anyway. If you don't, if not, if not, if not in love. But uh, my point of the matter is, is that. As a man, you have to garnish your respect. And you don't garnish that by dominance. You garnish that by love. You garnish that by action. You garnish that by consistency. You garnish that by loyalty. You, ga you garnish that by speaking well of others, doing well to others, being an upright standing citizen. You do well by actually um, inspiring others to love, uh, love others around them. You inspire that by being a creative and, and finding innovative ways to uh, communicate, speak, and improve not only yourself, but your partner, your community. There are things that have to be admired about you that create the awesomeness of respect. And I'm telling you as a man, do not enter the fold and to a woman that you she does not respect you. And you will know because how she treats you exactly as how that ex-husband felt he was treated. I'm sure he knew that Gina May was not treating him correctly. But the reality of the situation is he allowed it to go on. And now Jeezy then chose her with her hot temper. And I'm not even blaming her for the breakdown of marriage. I'm merely simply saying that actually I want to hold Jeezy accountable because he knew she had anger. Right, I, I don't, I don't drop a third uh, uh, the video, but you know, like it, honestly, Jesus should have taken account of the fact that she had anger issues by speaking with her and by breaking down and getting to know her a bit more and spending quality time before entering into something mad. Because in reality, she was always ready to blow up because she hasn't healed that manner of herself already. So you only need to do something before she goes. Tch, pff, pff. You get what I'm saying to you. Right. So get your respect by being an integrous person, having achievements, having uh, qualities and the skills to prove that you are deserved and worthy. Of respect. Don't let them fool you like that. Don't let them punk you out like that. Appreciate you guys. Say lots. Say loaded. We'll see you again very, very soon. Much.